when Master Evil comes to play. And Mama says that it's okay. Alex and Josh are stole away. And made to watch these movies. To stay alive until the day they made us. Hello, viewers, and welcome to Slash Tracks. Oh, prisoners, yes. tonight is the night my evil reigns supreme. <coughs> tonight, I truly break your spirit. <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, me either. Uh, I think I hear a wheeze. Master Evil, are you okay? You sound pretty sick. And uh, is there anything I can do for you? Can I get you anything? What? You're worried about him? I mean, I didn't like the sound of breaking us. Why do you care if he's sick? Oh, well, he kidnapped us and makes us sit through horrible movie after horrible movie. I know that. And I understand that. But come on. We aren't animals. And he hasn't done anything that bad to me. I mean, he hasn't done anything bad to us. To us. To us. Are you serious right now? Do I have to go over this again? He took us prisoner. He is literally evil. His name has evil in it. Okay? And he even does the whole petting the cat thing. Like the evil mad genius thing. And he is always, always... Silence, Josh! And Alex. Tonight, you watch... Black Mountain Madman. Honey, did you take your medicine? But it's yucky! <laughs> I know, Snookums. But you know what happens if you don't take it? Then I have to get the suppository. Ah! Shh, shh. Okay, okay. I'll take it when I'm done ruining my prisoner's nights. <laughs> okay, pumpkin. If you take it like a big boy, I'll give you a lollipop. Oh, my God. A blue one? <laughs> yes, sweetie. Yes! Now, prisoners, tonight's movie is... Oh, honey, you got a letter today. I put it on your desk next to your surveillance monitor where you watch and play evil kidnapper with your little prisoner friends. We're not his friends. Oh, I see it. Oh, hold on, Mr. Flibble. Ah. There we go. What is it? Oh, well, this is a pleasant surprise. It mm. seems I have a number one fan. Mm. Their just, name just one. is Alexua Van Roe. And they wrote me to say... They love watching me on Slash Track and asked if I would inflict a horrible torture on you two. So you're uh, taking requests now from Alexua Van Roo. Okay, great. Uh, what's their request? Hush and let me finish. Mr. Van Roo says that he has on good authority that you two would really, really, really hate to have to watch Ernest Scared Stupid mm -hmm. and that you definitely wouldn't concoct a fake letter into tricking me into letting you watch a movie that wasn't garbage. Mm -hmm. P.S. Seriously, this is something that Alex would definitely not be okay with. Oh, hold on. I'm actually seriously definitely not okay with this. And See? you know that I'm usually okay with something at this point in the opening of Slash Tracks. Yep. So, yeah, I must be upset. That definitely, definitely upsets me, Master Evil. Two definite ones. Seriously, I, I'm pissed. And it sounds like a horrible movie. And whatever you do... Master Evil, do not, 
please, for the love of God, make us watch this film. Please. Yeah. Uh, please. Is there anything else in the letter? Yes. P.P.S. Mm -hmm. Mr. Frivel is the ugliest, meanest, nastiest, most sinisterly evil kitty in the world. Huh? But I think... See? No, see? Who else would say such good compliments about your cat, Flyvel, Mr. Evil? We would never say something like that. So please, don't do this to us. Not, not Ernest Scared Stupid. It's yeah, for the love of God. And Master Evil, now silence. Okay. Do you take me for a fool? Do you really think I wouldn't figure out what you two are trying to pull? Did you think I was an idiot that couldn't decipher your deception, Alex and Josh? Damn it! I... It was worth a try. Ha! Ha ha! And he said your name first this time. And Alex, I told you so. I told you this wouldn't work. But oh well. I guess the jig is up, Master Evil. You caught us. That's right. I see your reactions to the letter. And I know what you are trying to do. And I will not allow it. I am Master Evil and nothing gets past me. See that now? It's so obvious that you want me to believe that you wrote this letter because what? you are jealous. That I have a number one fan named Alexua Van Roe. Well, sorry, but I, Master Evil, will not be so easily deceived. Huh? I know, I now have a number one fan, and I grant their request that you will not be watching Black Mountain Madman tonight. You will be watching Ernest Scared Stupid. <laughs> oh, no. We can't get one over on you, Master Evil. We sure learned a lesson tonight, a very, very valuable lesson. That's right. And don't you forget it. Now get ready for... Mm. I wasn't prepared. Usually I list off several bad things about a movie. But I can sum it all up in 14 words and a number. Prepare yourself for Ernest Part 4. And okay. be prepared to be scared. Stupid. Original. <laughs> if you don't come take your medicine, I'm going to have to give it to you that other way. No, Ma! I'll take it! I'll take it! Happy torture, prisoners! <laughs> come on, Mr. Flivel. Let's go take Mommy's yucky medicine so I don't have to. To get a suppository again. Ah, and so when I'm done, I can get a lollipop. And then I'll rub your little tummy. Yes, who's my witty kitty kitty man? Uh, we're still here. Uh, I was just... I, I didn't say tummy... Watch your damn movie! Wow. He just said Tum Tum to that fake cat, dude. I don't know how you can handle being around that. And I thought our goose was cooked. I thought he figured out what we did. You know, Alexua Van Rue. But, uh, well, he's obviously buying his own press. And his ego. As, yeah, and as, how can I be around that when I go to his house, you know, to hang out and do stuff? And, he always makes sure that he buys enough food for Flivel. Nobody eats it because it's a goddamn stuffed cat, so I get the extra stuff, so I can bring it back to my palatial apartment when I'm, you know, that I'm chained to. That you're chained to, even though you go to his house, you go to spin class, and you... Okay. Anyways, so 
we get to watch Ernest Scared Stupid instead of Black Mountain Madman. Stoked. Absolutely stoked, Josh. Can't believe it worked. Actually, you're a genius. You're you know, a genius. I'm, I'm still... Yeah, I know. I'm the genius, and I'm the one living with the rodeo clown in a little dungeon. You know what? <clears throat> hey, hey, before you, before you rip into me again for things that are out of my control and out of my purview, listen... We would never have been able to watch Ernest tonight had you not have been laser focused because you don't have amenities. I'm over here in the lap of luxury. I'm not thinking of these great ideas. You're the one who's trying to figure things out, okay? Because that's your silver you lining. To. That's There's your silver, silver lining. lining. Yeah. I don't even get a silver lining. I get like a turquoise lining. You're, that's you're, the best I can hope for. You like get a, a bronze lining. Iron, iron pyrite lining. Yeah, that that's the lining cool, cool. I get. I don't even have. A, a silver lining to hope for but sure sure yeah hey because i'm over here with nothing and have nothing to think about except for ending my own existence and having the rodeo clown take my place you know or have him take my life yeah so i come up with i came up with the plan and we get to watch Ernest, and i'm sure it's gonna be a blast and now that i'm in such a chipper mood finding out that I'm such a lucky guy that I don't have uh, nothing That's going on. I can think of this. I'm going to have so much fun ripping a movie apart that I actually was looking forward to watching five seconds ago. Um, thank you. you. Know, you're, you remind me of Katy Perry. You're hot, then you're cold. You're hot, then you're cold. You're yes, then you're no. I don't know where the hell I'm going with you sometimes, but you know what? It's a hell of a ride. Start the damn movie, Josh. You know what? You, you're talking about Katy Perry. Yeah, he sent he sent me a CD that said Katy Carey, and it was just him singing her songs. Yeah, and he he would say he would say Mr. Flivel hit it, and then nothing would happen for like thirty seconds, and I had to listen to that shit. So yeah, you know what? hey, speaking of Katy Perry, I don't want to like Katy Carey. I don't want to piss you off anymore, but he actually sent me actual nudes of Katy Perry. Like they're not even released. Like they're from Orlando Bloom's like to... private collection. And now he's gonna send me nudes of Katy Carey. Thank you. <laughs> they're Thank spec. You. Spectacular, Josh. I can only imagine what the nudes of Patey Carey are going to be. They might be nudes of him with Flibble. I just imagined it. Oh, God. Okay. Yes. Yes. Uh, start the movie. Start the movie. Let's do this. Hit, hit play. Yeah. I'm going to say, as soon as you hear me say, gah, hit play. All right. One, two, three, go. Little blue thing going across the screen. I may lose all my memories, but I'll always remember, like, Touchstone and MGM openings and stuff. Hey, look, it's the exact same font from the... From the thumbnail. That looks exactly. identical. Did you do that on purpose? No, I just did that on paint. I didn't. I forgot that that's actually what it looked like on the movie. Holy moly, we actually have earnest font on yeah. the Slash Tracks they, thumbnail. They couldn't get John Strawberry to direct the movie, so they got John Cherry to the best. I can't believe Master Evil fell for our little ploy. <laughs> yeah, I'm very pleased. I'm scared stupid. Yeah, that's how we feel most nights, Ernest. Yep, that too. Have you seen any of these old movies? No, I haven't, no. Not yet. Yeah, we haven't been subjected to them yet. <laughs> The font doesn't know if it wants to stay one color or not. I wonder if uh, our, uh, Jim Varney knew what he was actually supposed to be looking at when they like cut all these scenes up together. Showing him a few of the straight to movie, straight to VHS uh, Ernest movies he's going to be in in a few years. Yeah, they were actually showing him the, the script Ernest goes for to Slam Africa. Dunk on Ernest. That Ernest goes to okay. Africa. Yeah, Ernest goes to goes to war it was like there's like a scene where he almost kills a dude by unfolding his IV and it's like that's not funny the dude's dying on the hospital there was, was a like, before uh before Jim Varney passed away they were actually working on a strip a script called Ernest goes to the Golden Raspberries award uh ceremonies oh yeah and Ernest goes to rehab Yeah, there it is. Like, Ernest goes to school. Ernest goes to school. 
um, I just remember like later in the Ernest franchise, the movies would come out and uh, not in the theater, and I'd yeah. be randomly at a VHS, you know, video store, and I'd see them, and I didn't care what it was as long as Ernest was in it, I had to rent it. Yeah, uh, the last one was Ernest Rides Again, which came out after this one. Well, there was another one that was fully written also. Uh, Ernest gets audited. Uh, yeah. yeah we ain't or Ernest goes to the beach or Ernest doesn't go to the beach. <laughs> that, that was one. And, of course, the Ghoulies uh, spin off Ernest Goes to Hell. <laughs> Ernest Goes to Hell. <laughs> I searched the bowels of hell. To, this this, to this, this actress is actually running away from the casting director. Yeah, she's like, for the love of God. Now, nobody will have to be in this movie. Yeah, meanwhile, in Nilbog. There's a guy that, hey, if she had been, if she had been running with her milk, she would have been, she would have gotten away. She had a nice jug of milk. Meak. I have a feeling that this guy talking may be an ancestor of Ernest. Just a wild guess. Apparently he was Amish. His family was Amish back then. How excited. Did they, do? Did they rip that tree out of the ground somewhere and bring yeah. it over there? How Why excited is Jim see? Barney to play another role in an Ernest movie that isn't Ernest? Oh, he would never do that. The girl in the middle was crying because she uh, she saw a psychic. They told her she's going to live to be like 150. You will also be in the 1960s Batman TV show as the fifth Catwoman. Yes, we know she was the third one. It's being smart, Alex. Don't attack us. It's Calf. That kid, the big kid in the stripes, why do I want him to all of a sudden say O'Doyle rules? He reminds me of, like, Kid Bulk from the Power Rangers when they were turned into kids. Yeah, he also looks like uh, Buzz from Home Alone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are they? Are they real parts of history? Myths? This teacher needs to have her credentials taken away. That's an absolutely normal day in town. How did Ernest get his CDL? Right, I know. <laughs> Who passed that is it? a hard test. He, he would fail the brake test, the air brake test immediately. And then smarter, but then dumber again. He's, he's almost so drooling. Right, he's so dumb, but he can create all these inventions. They never work, but I mean... <laughs> That is so dangerous. He's on the front of the forks of a garbage truck. Here comes Shredder flying out of there. Thank you for getting me out of there. Get Casey Ernest. Jones tried to murder me. Yeah, and Shredder's like, get Ernest. Find him. Silence him. Where's Vern? Shot. Vern you can help him. You didn't feed me this morning. Screw you. Yeah. Rim shots the actually his normal job on the truck is to hold on to the back and dump the cans as they go along. And anybody wanting us to do it, we refuse to like give Ernest the business with our rip. It's not going to happen. We'll give the movie the business, but not Jim Varney. At least I won't. Alex Jim is Varney, a little hearted. Hey, Jim Varney's trying to make. Uh, Lemonade out of lemons here with the script. Yeah. And he's doing a damn good job. This is actually my favorite Ernest movie. Honest to God. Uh, this one or Ernest Goes to Camp. And I also love oh, Ernest. Yes. Yeah. Ernest Saves Christmas. I like the whole um, like cinematography of the film. I like the whole vibe. I like just the way it looks. It looks like a Halloween movie to me. Well, it's a good thing he went and picked up the garbage at the salvage yard before going to the school. Yeah, and he, how many trips to the dump does he make? I mean, that thing looks like it hasn't been emptied at all. Most garbage men have to go to the dump at least three to four times in a day. He hasn't emptied anything. Oh, oh, he also went by the uh, Salvation Army.
I didn't ask to be in this movie. You did. Yeah, you wrote my part in. Um, this this is terrifying, by the way, Josh. I worked at a garbage company for a little bit, and they have more stories of people getting stuck in the hopper, like the back, yeah. and you know being squished to death. So this is oh, terrifying. I'm sure. You know that that doll. That's the reason that it became demonic. When he killed it, it went to hell and became a demonic toy. And yeah. uh, it, it it ended up with a strong Brooklyn accent. Yeah, it it was possessed by the ghost of Artie Lang's career. Right. And those jerdocs are major mercs. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that was pretty good. I hate to go back to it, but they open it. Shredder pops out. I'm in the other one. <laughs> Because I'm doing an imitation of a guy that was in movies 40 years before I was born. Exactly. That's the thought I just had. It's like, how does he even know? The AMC channel wasn't even around in 1991. Ernest is such a square. <laughs> <laughs> an L7 weenie. Hey, it's the one cop in town getting told to go talk to the one trash man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Old Lady Hackmore's got like 150 years worth of garbage. Give her a break, man. I don't think she chose to be a century and a half old. So the guy, the guy who's the mayor here talking to the one cop uh, look, reminds me and speaks just like the dad in Teen Wolf. Yeah. His, his delivery and everything. Hey, you know what they say about geniuses, Josh? They wear like Steve Jobs wore black turtlenecks like every day, right? Because it eliminates the decision process. Like, you save time, <laughs> right? Ernest is a genius. He wears that same gray shirt yeah. and, you know, blue vest every day. He's every day. He's a fucking savant. He's up there. I'm the master of my own ship. The sheriff of my own town. Oh, my God. He's got x-ray vision, dude. That's why he's the only cop in town. He's fucking Superman. He saw through the door and knew there was two kids in there. Ernest, I'm going to level with you. I don't like the creepy garbage man that's new to town driving, driving around with kids that aren't his own. It just looks bad, okay? And we saw you murder that baby doll, Ernest. That does not score you any points. Yeah, by the way, Ernest, you're wearing the same clothes you wore yesterday while you were on your garbage route. You reek. Okay, wait a second. He's the garbage man. Does, lady, does old lady Hackmore run the, the dump? Because this looks more like a dump than any dump I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I think this Ernest is... has been delivering the trash here. That's what the problem is. It's delivery, not even fault. Delivering the trash. They actually set up the film an episode of Hoarders at uh, the Hackmore estate, but uh, they ended up filming <laughs> this movie instead. Meow. He's got leprechaun disorder. The leprechaun always talks to himself in the leprechaun movies. Where are the American pickers when we need them, Josh? Oh, they came by, but then they went and she told them how to bring demons back. They went and pounded on a tree. It's her <laughs> fault for telling people exactly how to do it. Hey, uh, my name is Mike. Uh, Mike Fritz. I'm here with uh, American Pickers. Uh, we just want to know, I'm an oil can guy. I collect cans. <laughs> Got any old signs? Yeah, you got any old bicycles or any old Harley Davidsons or Indian motorcycles? When old lady Hackmore's not scowling and yelling at people, she's fighting Batman as the Firefly. I can tell you what she's not fighting. Uh, her hair. Because that won the battle years and years ago. They could have got that wig for Corey Feldman in uh, Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys. <laughs> Why is she, why, she, it looks like she's holding a gas pump. <laughs> she's like, do you want regular or unleaded? I've only lived here 150 years, and I just now realized that you're a world that lives in this town. I'm really bad at being a citizen of this town.
That's what I got from it. I told you, man, she's definitely Firefly. She's going to go fight Batman now. She's like a C-class villain. Att attempted murder. She just tried to kill Ernest. Part of their haunted house is uh, you get in a room and it's like you're trapped in a garbage truck. <laughs> Part of the haunted house is you have to spend uh, like half the day alone with Ernest while he's talking to Vern and you and not lose your mind. The, one, the kid with the glasses is the luckiest kid. He gets out of the movie the quickest. Here's Bulk and Skull. <laughs> Good call, Josh. <laughs> and that's Billy, Tommy, and Kimberly. <laughs> it's morphin' time. He, he, he turned around. It's morphin' time. Ernest is in it, too. It's he not our fault that you made a shitty haunted house that wouldn't stand up. I would be so pissed if people messed up my fort I had just built. There's three of them and two of them. This... Well, the big kid actually ate their other, their fourth friend, so they're well, terrified. They're Power Rangers, though. Don't talk to Ernest. He don't know jack about it. No, am I fired now? The dad joke. I think I just heard Alexis, your daughter, laughing in the background. <laughs> That kid has got to be so bored waiting on Ernest to keep changing these costumes. Dude, nipples on the breastplate, man. This is pre-Batman that... and Robin. That's where Batman and Robin and Batman forever got the idea. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Schumacher, Schumacher, or Schumacher is like, That's what Wait happened to Rimshot's tail, by the way. That mustache he had. That's my favorite Ernest right there. The lady <laughs> the with the pink glasses. Yeah. Ooh. That kid is so screwed. If you don't move. He's got more costume changes than a Weird Al concert in this scene. <laughs> that kid's like, what the hell is he talking about? I'm in like fourth grade history, dude. Come on. My teacher thinks that myths are real, so they're real history, so I'm not learning anything. That was a quick change comedian right there. That, that window broke before the thing hit the back of the glass. <laughs> it's like it knew. The kids were like, I thought you said we needed the high ground, that field across town with all those funny plants growing. Uh, that's the wrong high ground, kids. Uh, that ain't, I didn't know you, you ain't supposed to know about my high ground. <laughs> this is the pre-equal, uh, Josh, to Drill Bit Taylor. <laughs> Nothing strange about a local trash man taking three children into the woods. <laughs> to build a tree fort, quote unquote. At least he don't have a van. Well, he's got a dump truck. Oh, it's like, let good. me. there's some poop coming. Let me wait here. And, wait and open it. my mouth. You know, that's actually considered good luck. So Ernest actually is going to have a great day. Seriously, he'll change into like 20 different costumes. Don't say a word, damn it. <laughs> Yeah, let's go build a treehouse in there. That, I guarantee there's enough of a plot in there to make a movie. They're about ready to walk into the cave where Redneck Zombies filmed their scene at. <laughs> yeah, there's just a guy that looks like Travis Tritt taking a swig of liquor. <laughs> he shows up in the back. Well, that's basically how he showed up in Redneck Zombies. He was just drinking in the background, like 15, 16 minutes into the film. They never right. introduce him. Like, I think he was there, but he was always in the back, but it's like he just popped up like the narrator. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and so, so it began. The Ernest evil and the Oculus. Willing the boy on using... Oh, Rimshot's not afraid. There's yeah, that. Yeah, I was, I was just going to comment on that. Rimshot is leading the way. He's part Billy Bumbler. 
Now, every time, anytime I thought of building a treehouse, I wanted a tree that looked like it could come alive and, and strangle me at any minute. That's what I was always shooting for. Got a and good a tree base. That looks like it's just waiting to carry some hobbits. I always wanted to build a tree for in the, the trees that look like the kill the Keebler elves commercials where they like have a door on the on the tree yeah. and then they come out with the you know the candies and the cookies. You know, that's kind of weird too now that I think of it. The Keebler elves live in trees and give cookies to kids. They don't know. We should have known something when the tree started bleeding and went, "Ow!" Damn that! That's that's a big cavern for that echo to still be going after 150 years. Yeah, and the fog, they even fit a fog machine inside that tree. That echo's just been bouncing back and forth for 150 years down there. <laughs> the troll's like, "I get it. God, you've trapped me here. I don't. Why do I have to hear your voice for two centuries?" Well, that ghost got the fuck out of the movie. Follow the ghost, Rimshot. Get it, Rimshot. Get it. She's like, hey. well, I won't be fighting Batman tonight. <laughs> Rimshot's not bad. He caught, picked up the scent of, like, a dead, like, 150-year-old ghost. That's insane. And he and it's like, it's like the ghost of a marshmallow from a box of Count Chocula at that. It looked like one of the Boo Brothers from the Scooby-Doo movie. <laughs> right. All right, she already took off a pair of goggles. Now she's taking off a pair of glasses. Next time there's a noise, she'll take out some contacts. <laughs> Her wardrobe looks like Tuscan Radar from Star Wars. <laughs> Man, they where were they carrying all this stuff when they went there? Just yeah, they had none of this stuff. Not my high ground. Stay out of my high ground. They got the front front end of a Ford LTD. <laughs> meow, meow. She starts cleaning herself. She gets lost in the Catwoman role again. She's a she's a double double trouble Catwoman and the Firefly. They they must have thought I was stupid when the, they tried to slip this Catwoman uh, by me uh, when Julie Newmar was clearly Catwoman. Come what on. about whenever they swat when they gave us uh, Gomez Adams as the Riddler for an episode? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. John Amos did play the Riddler for an episode. Uh, Aston. John Aston. Yeah. Ru Rudy's dad. <laughs> Mikey. Yeah, I should go have a talk with her or. Tie her up in the basement so she don't cause us any more treehouse trouble. We're more like above it. Somebody fix that fog machine. It's not working right. Turn the fan on. More dry Rimshot. ice. More. Rimshot's like, thanks, Ernest, for leaving me with a bunch of irresponsible children. Thank you. You love your dog, obviously. The only good thing about this kid being a bully is he's getting more steps in uh, for the day. He's getting more exercise <laughs> trying to track these kids down. Right. That's the only good thing about his bullying. He's like, we'll be all right. We'll get them suckers unless they throw milk and pizzas at us. But what are the odds of that happening? No, you don't. You do. You literally are looking straight ahead. You're not even down. Rimshot's dog like, food. yeah, it's Rimshot's all, like, wait a second. Yeah, that's mine, bitch. I need that. They only threw dog food at us. At least they're not throwing pizzas yet. Oh, no! It's over, fun. Game over, man. Game over. I think we'll be all right. Hey, on that pizza tin, it looked like Robert England. <laughs> I got you in my sights. I'm looking all around for you. Bullies like that back in the day, they just need a good pop right in the face. They're, they're lactose and pollen, man. The cheese, the cheese was too much for them. The cheese is old and moldy. <laughs> I'm on your good side. Yeah, I'm on your side. I actually, I, I paid for all this stuff and built this for you. Please let me up.
their parents are horrible. <laughs> These they kids have, have been gone for hours. No school in session. Night time. Yeah, no clue where their kids are right now. They're with the one garbage man in town who's new to town, by the way, and who is known to be a moron. <laughs> You should have seen her acting it out with her with the crazy hair walking like that. He plays Royal Rumble with them. <laughs> Is it foreshadowing if he's telling you exactly what's going to happen with the plot? <laughs> Why did she give this dumbass all that information? <laughs> she told him exactly how to bring him back. Yeah, bad call. Tactical error on her part. It has to be in that voice, too, by the way. If he had said it just normal, it wouldn't have worked. And, and so it begins. Has... Once again, the hero is responsible for all the death and madness in the town. It's always the hero's fault. Every time. Yeah, Tommy Jarvis and Jason lives. Bar Park Lincoln and the New Blood. They raise them up <laughs> to kill everybody and then they get to finish them off. Oh, God. I've been out of the movie this long. You couldn't have waited 30 more minutes. It's okay. Lightning's afraid of the high ground. <laughs> now, I, Josh, I think Lightning actually really likes the high ground. Oh, oh, I knew it was one of the two. Yeah, I think Ernest is, I think Ernest is screwed here. Ernest? You have legs. You don't have to stay in the treehouse. You could have ran with them, just so you know. Ernest, Ernest Gets Electrocuted was actually the working title before they switched it to Ernest Scared Stupid. Yeah, rim shot set in there. You know, you're a pussy. <laughs> rim shots like, that happening? Rim shots like, this isn't home? <laughs> <laughs> Keebler! That. Keebler! Well, that'll do it. If you watch Hulkamania in slow-mo, that's all you need. There must have been a jar of Miac in there somewhere. Did that water jug... Oh, I thought it said drugs on it. <laughs> I was like, what? Is that MDMA, what he's going to drug him with? MDA, MDA or MDM or whatever it is. Ecstasy. Yeah, my house is on this side of the creepy forest in the middle of our town that nobody warned us about. The guy who created Stranger Things saw this scene and he's like, wait a minute, I've got an idea. Don't look where you're walking. That's the number one rule. Act like you're scared. No, no, no. God, your acting is so wooden. It's about to be. <laughs> so you were saying that you like looked at their credits, what other films these kids have been in, and they haven't been in anything else. Nothing. Help me, anybody. Well, if he hadn't have worn that damn Canadian tuxedo out, he wouldn't be slipping and sliding all over the place. Oh, thank you, Ernest, who sounds really creepy. <laughs> Wait, you're not Ernest. <laughs> if I had a dime for every time I brought a girl home back from the bar and the next day I sobered up and that was looking directly at me in bed. Yeah, and they had two noses too, right? <laughs> that and, troll... a and, a, and a penis growing off the side of its head. <laughs> that troll knows what it's doing. I just I'm look at these dad jokes tonight. I just look at the troll and I'm like, "Hey, uh, so there's ten dollars on the, you know, cupboard over there, cab fare. You know, have a great night." This is actually the police department, not his house. <laughs> it had a penis coming out of the side of its head. I swear to God, it didn't use a prophylactic on the side of its head. And I think children. it was turned on because it was like this, <laughs> not like this. I didn't want to take him to my own home. I'm not stupid. 
And Ernest, don't you have to go do your route at 5 a.m. tomorrow? You need to be home anyway. And talk Ernest, about it tomorrow. And Ernest, we also have to talk about your post and pre-trip inspection logs on the truck. You have not been filling them out. And it's you almost need to quit stealing people's mufflers. <laughs> it's almost like you don't actually have your CDL. This troll's upset because he can't he can't play Royal Rumble with just one figure. Yeah, he, hey man, he needs to come see me. Uh, if anybody knows how to play Royal Rumble, it's this guy. I played Royal Royal Rumble plenty of times on dates. I always got thrown out of the bed. <laughs> yeah, and Josh has been eliminated. Will he make it back? He has one foot down. That was and the quickest elimination we've ever seen. <laughs> Josh has one second. ass cheek down. Sorry, troll, but if you want if you want to bait kids to come to you, Brussels sprouts is not the way to do it. At least his heart's in the right place, Josh. <laughs> you didn't go and. Do all that stuff that I told you every detail about and told you do not do that, right? You didn't do that, did you? His name is actually Ernest Ash P. Worrell. <laughs> I'd love to see an Ernest Ash team up. Ernest P. Worrell versus Ashley <laughs> versus Ash. Ernest would win out of sheer luck. Rimshot and Ernest versus Ash. Because they'll come back as zombies. Or they'll be out of the movie. They'll be the lucky ones. How many years has it been? You don't ask a woman that. Can you imagine Especially what a woman who's 150? Can you imagine uh, what that house smells like? Imagine. I used to work at a crematory. It pro like 150 years. I mean, how many newspapers does she have built up <laughs> over 150 least, years in that house? I know there's at least one dead body somewhere in that house. I thought this one was a whorl. I was trying to uh, get its DNA, but it didn't work out. Uh -huh. Hey, the cat in the hat. I love it. Convenient book, every detail. Except for there's no penis on his head. <laughs> this troll isn't anatomically correct. There's no cock on the side of its skull. <laughs> <laughs> it's, doc it's Dr. Seuss at Rhymes, man. <laughs> That cow plays an important part. Oh, probably. Cows are delicious, first of all. She's, she's like, wait a second. No, I'm out of children's hearts right now. It's a pop-up book. The Choose Your Own Adventure. Okay, you told me exactly how to bring him back. How do you not know how to just kill him right, right away? God, man, back in the day, that was for real. Eighth level for Mario 3? Yeah, Mario Brothers 1. Saw that movie. Mario Brothers 1, when you get to the last castle and they have the maze, it, like way before Nintendo Power, trying to memorize the yeah. pattern to get to the kit. Oh my gosh. That was awful. <laughs> She's like, damn it, I should have paid my power bill. <laughs> The people in the town, their garbage is just piling the fuck up. They're like, their garbage why guy's just running through guy? the streets like a madman. <laughs> what? Is it going to be something clever about trolls? I mean... Dude, he just, he, he went for it with that line. He just nailed it. Something, something... stupid about trolls. Ugh. Good. I was afraid it might be something very intelligent about trolls, and that, we can't have that. There's Robert England <laughs> on the left there. That's where he got the mufflers from. Bear shit in the woods. What happened to the guy, the guy who does the eye thing? 
You know, he would turn his eyes back and forth. Why'd they replace him with this shitter? No. When I was a kid, I didn't even notice the difference, to be honest with you. Do you know what they're what that guy's playing on the drums right there? It's called a rim shot. I know. And the dog's name is Rim Shot. It's it's funny, isn't it? You get it? I it, that has to not be that has to be linked. That's that's if, really. If you uh, pause where it did that static right there, you can see one of the trolls hanging themselves in the background. <laughs> the trolls like this sucks. His great grandmother was actually uh, one of the Munchkins in Wizard of Oz. Yeah, he was in the Lollipop Guild. And according to that history teacher, the myth about a munchkin hanging themselves must be real history. Because uh, <laughs> myths are real history. They're real, people. That history teacher said so. That's weird. He came by my house yelling about someone being in his high ground. That's weird. Ernest also came to my house but didn't pick my garbage up and he was bitching about trolls and meak. <laughs> And he also needed, like, 12 cans of dog food for his tiny dog. Yeah, he said somebody just used it all up. <laughs> yeah, and he asked if we had any pizzas available. <laughs> Did they just go and, like, print a bunch of labels? <laughs> Troll away. Trolling motor in a second. <laughs> Love it. Got a, he's got a scale built into his hand. That guy's not supposed to talk. Yes, and the, uh, the Troll Love Porno uh, collection. <laughs> Darn Eartha Kit, wouldn't you know? Look at look at all that fog, man. How much did they spend on fog? Well, after earlier when they only had like one machine blowing and it was like in a straight line, they they decided they needed to get a couple more. <laughs> this troll is this troll looks like the what the girls I talked to you about. Like I'd show up and I'd be like, just got paid today, and all of a sudden the girls, you know, the trolls show up trying to get me to buy them a drink. <laughs> I'm paid today. Oh, oh, how you doing, big guy? Oh. No wonder this troll got caught so easily, man. Yeah. It was <laughs> oh, like the dude. worst hider. Rimshot had a can of troll away strapped to his back. Did you see that? All joking aside, Jim Barney, man, he was the man. He had a nice little run here in the early 90s. Like, uh, Beverly Hillbillies was released in 92. Oh, yeah. He's fantastic as Jeb in that movie. Then he plays that real bad guy in that movie where the treehouse they get kidnapped by the kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's also really good on Roseanne when he shows up later in the seasons. Hey, Danny DeVito's in the flick. I didn't know that. Yeah, he. Meanwhile, on the set of Always Sunny. Yeah, this is where they got the idea for his character right here. Yeah, I'm starting to think that Ernest doesn't know where the dump is actually at. He's just been bringing trash to old lady Hackman's house. Uh, you know the town can't actually afford to bring stuff to a dump. They have to pay per the pa per pound for that crap. So they're like, just dump it at Hackmore's house. I don't know. Why don't you go knock on the door, you nosy little bitches? Yeah, B&E. E. walking into someone's house. Felony. <laughs> uh, don't go up to there. That's, uh, there's some, uh, yeah, just don't go up there. Ernest, I'm glad don't I found you. Is there any more weird 90s sweaters up there that I can wear for another scene later on? Why does it smell like when my rabbit died? Yep. We know exactly what you mean. We're going home. Thanks for the warning. He looks up there and there's like someone in a cage. So that's who you've been talking to this whole time. Yeah. It's, it's uh, Burt Ward, the guy who played Robin. <laughs> <laughs> He's up there in his green tidy whities Holy fourth, uh, holy third, Ernest sequel, Batman. Yeah, right. Uh, who am I kidding, Josh? Burt Ward would love to have been in this movie. He hadn't had a credit in 30 years to this point. He's actually troll number three. 
they actually made a mold of his penis to put on the side of the troll's head. So and and he, they made him do all of his own stunts, too. Yeah, he contributed to this film in many ways. Ernest has got a baby doll fetish, man. He has got them just ready to go. <clears throat> He's a collector. Yeah, but they're not in package. You know, they're not worth that much. Uh, you know, I can't imagine. They're well, he does that collect- valuable. He just murders them. And don't talk about... Never mind, I almost made a joke that some people would have been... Don't don't talk about Danny DeVito like that. That's definitely not a dumpster. Because you know there was plenty of motels back when this troll was alive before. Yeah, it's just like when you watch a horror movie and you're like, how does Freddy Krueger know how to play Nintendo? Like, he was killed in the 70s. Like, right. what the hell is going on here? Like, he's just been stalking uh, uh, Spencer's dreams, and Freddy's dead. He's like, all right, A, B, up, up, down, down, bitch. Jim Varney kept looking at the director, and the director's like, wait for it. Looks away, <laughs> looks back. Not yet. <laughs> Hold, Hold it. Hold on. Go ahead. Ah! <laughs> Leave the troll fighting to us. Ernest. Don't you think our parents are just shit parents? We we stay out till midnight every night, and they don't even come looking for us. Hey. Okay. That was a little weird. Uh, Ernest, why are you in my driveway? <laughs> not, not really. No, nah, it was cute. Hey, that troll is more excited than me when I get a new He-Man figure at Walmart all the time now. Man, if you want to get kids, like... Have some freaking good, like, fruit roll-ups growing out of the tree, not Brussels sprouts, you know? Oh, God, Brussels sprouts to this day, I don't care if they have garlic and they're roasted, they're still, the texture destroys it for me. Yeah, that's I why I can't eat eggplant, the texture ruins it for me. Yeah. It don't taste I'm... bad, but the, but the texture ruins it. Squash is also another hard pass for me if it's not cooked correctly, like, if it's too, like, hard, or, like, I don't know. Yeah, same goes with me for children. If they're not cooked just right. <laughs> oh my god. You said that right after I said too hard and you said children, Josh. <laughs> I'm just saying if they're oh not cooked boy. right, the texture's all off. You know, when We're learning cooking. more and more about each other since we've been captured by Master Evil. I'm he doesn't give you. me any food, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know how hard it is to catch and eat a full grown man? Jesus Christ. Give me a give me a break, man. I'm not I'm not Superman. It's not easy being me. I love his uh, Legend of Zelda Part 1 Ganon uh, mask. That kid got uh, jumped qu- quicker than someone going into the uh, hit Legends of the Hidden Temple with a quarter of a pendant of life. How long were they in that boat, you know, just sitting in there, waiting? What if the kid didn't come home for like another hour? You know how sweaty his face would be in that mask? <laughs> he would have lost like 10 pounds. Yeah, you know he's starving while he's in there. Plus, he had to jump. There's no way he did anything that athletic. And if he eats another friend, people are going to start asking questions. Okay, so it's Halloween now. They haven't really mentioned that it's Halloween at all up until this point. It's actually Christmas. This town is just weird as shit. <laughs> no, they haven't mentioned that it's Halloween at all. This troll we're about to find, uh, he, 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 he should have been going door to door letting people know he was in the neighborhood. He's in the little girl's bed. There's nothing under the bed, sweetie, but there is a nasty giant troll next to you in the bed. But I'll look under the bed. No mother would act, no mother would act like that. They would check under the bed and humor her. I know, right? This woman's a bitch. Yeah, she is a bitch. She gets the Slash Tracks Award of the Night for being an absolute bitch. <laughs> yeah, we need to do an award thing at the end of every show, you know, uh, for well, the movie to just watch. I'm presenting it to her right now. We'll, we'll start that. That'll be a new segment. <laughs> bitch of the week, bitch of the week, or bitch of the film, or asshole of the film. Best actor, worst actor, <laughs> best worst actor. So far, best yeah, my- actor is Rimshot. I told you the troll is next to you, honey, not under your bed. Go to sleep. <laughs> Some children don't have trolls in their beds. They're not lucky enough. They can't afford them. 
Josh, here we go. This is me after a night at the bar. Look at that. That's live footage. I can't I believe think you I actually took her, that, that troll home before. Josh, I can't believe you actually got that footage spliced in to this film for me. Man, that looks like a tetanus shot waiting to happen. That thing couldn't be any rustier. Got a, it's, it's got its own like cool name now, the Beast of Briarville. I didn't know the, the town's name was Briarville, by the way, until just now. Yeah, I, we didn't know it was Halloween. We didn't know the town name. We didn't know the thing's nickname. Somebody's like, no, the town is, is Springfield. I know, but I like the sound of Beast of Briarville. <laughs> it rolls off the tongue better. Okay, Ernest is dead. Movie's over. Halfway. It's over. <laughs> Movie's over. This kid's parents are the worst. Well, you gotta, Josh, give the kid's dad a break. He's the only fucking cop in Briarville. Come on. What are those ships like? 18 hours, 19 hours? His aunt is the, uh, the lieutenant from uh, Puppet Master versus the Montefiore. Yeah, they're, they're actually brother and sister. Um, so Ernest is just rolling around town in his garbage truck, wasting yeah, the, the city that... gas money. That that uh, billboard they're covering up, it, it said, Welcome to Briarville, home of one cop and one garbage man. <laughs> Free child care. Call the garbage company. <laughs> <laughs> Drop off your bags of trash and your children. Ernest will take care of them for you right here in Briarville. It's the Big Brother, Big Sister Garbage Company. It's an assisted suicide. Yeah. Ernest said he was going to buy me breakfast after we Again, slept together. This troll is the worst sneak in the world. Yeah, maybe he should shut his mouth and stop growling every time he's trying to stalk somebody. You know what I mean? Man, I could use some chocolate milk right now. That looks delicious. I know. I, I've got some. I've got to get it. Yeah, that looks exquisite. Chocolate milk is my after relation drink. <laughs> Gotta have a big old glass of chocolate milk. After the relation. <laughs> my kid never came home after I saw him in the garbage truck with you. You're dead, motherfucker. <laughs> My eyes just keep looking at those old Diet Coke labels. <laughs> Have you seen my dad? He should really be disappointing me for not being home at midnight. Who the hell goes trick-or-treating by themselves? Who, like, I w every year I went trick-or-treating, I had a gang of like five or six kids. Well, he was looking in his bag because that's where he put his friend's head after he ate the rest of them. Earlier. Yeah, WTF, man. Mario and Luigi pop out. <laughs> we got to save the princess. Bippity boppity boopity. <laughs> it's a me. You know, you know what? You should have watched our movie, The Mario Brothers. That's a pretty good. Okay, that's a big doll. Uh oh. Let's see more blueberry marshmallows. And the Royal Rumble. Entering the ring at number three Fat Bully Kid. Okay, if this pro can move that fast, why don't he just run around the, like the Flash and just find five kids right on it? They're everywhere. Parents don't watch the children in this town. The creepiest, the creepiest thing about the troll is that he can mimic other voices. That's actually genuinely kind of creepy. It is, yeah. This movie scared me. Like, the troll scared me. I had nightmares after watching this movie. It's like two weeks. But for real? Huh? <laughs> The movie that scared me that probably wasn't supposed to scare me when I was a kid was uh, Return to Oz with the Wheelers. I've told oh, you that yeah, before. That, that bitch, oh my god. Those Wheelers. Yeah, all the parents are now finally realizing their children are not home, you know, at midnight in this town. They're like, wait a second, where's Johnny? <laughs> it's like 1 a.m., where the hell, where is that kid? Call the garbage company, they'll know. 
the garbage company. It's just Earl's home, Ernest's home phone number. Why are you afraid of the truck? You don't even... That troll knows that a cow must mean milk. Well, Josh, and everybody knows that all milkmen make their deliveries at like 8 p.m. One in the morning. <laughs> yeah, because this ain't one of them towns with farmers where they, where they go to bed at 4. <laughs> in the afternoon, like Neilbog. Why is he turning his wheel that much? Like, he'd be all over the road. That fucking thing would flip because all the weight is, you know, top heavy. You ever seen the uh, Tommy Knockers movie? Yes, I've seen the Tommy Knockers. What is that guy's name? Jimmy Smits. Every movie he's in and TV show he's in, he drives like that and when driving scenes. Just like he does it all over. It's distracting. Ernest, like, I caught the troll. Not going to check to make sure it is the troll. Just going to take this sucker down to the one police officer because I'm the man. I'm not going to kill it first in case it escapes. And my own ears and my own nose. Well, first it turned it into like a four-foot wooden statue, and then it shrunk through a doll, and then he talked to me in a girl's voice. Well, and then he listen, ran like the Flash. Listen, son, the first thing we're going to need is a search warrant, and we're going to have to go to old, the old lady's house. And I don't want to go in there because it smells like hell. And I know there's at least one or two <laughs> bodies in there, and that's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> yeah, um, do you know how much red tape I'd be tied up in? Stop trying to make me do stuff. I'm one cop. Look, you're in the police department. There's no deputies anywhere. Do you see this, son? I'm looking the other way. Sometimes in life we have to do those things, son. Turn the other cheek and then turn the other one. What's Look the this deal? Way and that way, not straight ahead. What's the deal with the cop rolling his sleeves up? That's also distracting me. No cop does that. All those missing children posters that were on the desk, those weren't there until after the garbage company moved into town. Ernest is just like the fourth or fifth in line for the company. Hey, over or under on the mayor still being alive today? Uh, over. I think he's still alive. He probably looks like one of the trolls by now. The guy that said plus tax earlier is still alive. Really? Yep. Or he was, he was a couple years ago. Oh, these people in town do not care about the fishes. They did not tear their little uh, soda can plastic things apart up there, see? You're supposed to cut those so the uh, fish don't get stuck in them. The fat kid, the mayor's, you know, fat bully kid, that's actually Francis from uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. That's his real son. Yeah, he's going to steal Ernest's bike in a minute. I can have anything I want, Pee Wee. He's also in Leprechaun and Leprechaun Returns. And the sheriff's like, wait, no, we, there's no one else to pick up the garbage. Yeah, he, he literally fired the entire garbage company in that one moment. Time to grow up, man. Quit taking kids out in the woods and <laughs> blaming it on trolls. We're not dumb. Well, if Ernest gets fired, he's not going to be able to buy like 30 cans of dog food and like three random pizzas anymore. No. He is absolutely fucked. How are they going to stop the high ground? The Ottomans have got them. It's over. Game over. Ottomans win. So he's got to park the truck. He's already been fired. I'd be like, park your own truck, you fucker. Where am I going to live? Guess I'll go move in with old lady Hackmore. Curse to do. Ernest goes to Africa and Ernest goes to war. And a very short-lived Saturday morning TV show. And I'm going to be a slinky dog. <laughs> My favorite Toy Story character, by the way. Every time I see Ernest, and I love Ernest, I think of Pee-wee. I always, I always relate those two characters together in my head for some reason. Only one of them exposed themselves, though. <laughs> yeah, only one of them uh, pulled their wanker out in a movie theater and pleasured himself. There's the body. Oh. oh uh, well. Hey, jo Josh. So, Pee-wee got arrested for masturbating in a pornographic theater. 
um, like that's weird. I mean, what the hell are the movie theaters made for? You're you're expecting people to do that. <laughs> if he wasn't masturbating, is when he should have got arrested. I know, right? That, that's They're when like, I would be like, what the hell? Like you're wasting a chair here, sir. You're just watching like a creep. Either you pull that we- dick out or you're arrested. Well, the weird part is he brought his own movie. It was it was a showing of Ernest Scared Stupid. That's where things got weird. <laughs> Man, those Brussels sprouts aren't even ripe. I mean, they got worms crawling out of them. Let them. These trolls are scarier than the ones in Troll Two. They are, yeah. I don't, this, yeah, this movie. I love the trolls in this movie. The same people that made Killer Clowns from Outer Space uh, did the uh, trolls for this. You even see the the killer clowns from the movie as trolls at the end of this movie. They get they out just of here. Repainted them. I'm serious. I'll point them out to you. Please, Ernest. This troll is like not a ninja. He is the worst hider. Look to your right. He's just standing there. <laughs> like if you can't see him, you'll hear him because he never shuts up and he breathes heavily. And if you can't hear him, you sure as hell will smell him. <laughs> Look, he's not. Oh. No, no, he, he, he's just, he never shuts up. He went to the uh, burglary, uh, he went to the burglary school for uh, demonic toys. Remember when the bad guys, like, drove straight up to the door with their high beam yeah. up? Oh, God. Dude, the bugs in this town are crazy. Troll away, he just sprayed it back into his own face. Ernest and Rimshot are just absolutely high because of all the CFCs. Like, I, shit, I got a soft top truck. Help me, Mayday! I don't have any kids with me to feed to this troll. I'm gonna die. <laughs> you got some. I got some more shit to sell you, and it's about to come on down. What did you say? I have. Who's driving the truck? Rimshot. Yes, Rimshot is driving. Actually. Okay, you're getting a little handsy there, troll. Josh, that's what happens. Personal space. Josh, that's what happens when you promise uh, a troll, you know, dinner in a movie and you don't come through. All I know for a fact is this truck is not being pulled by anything for sure. Okay, I'm starting to really worry about Ernest. He carries kids around in the garbage truck, and he's got a bunch of really thick rope in the back of his truck. <laughs> He's got a hit kit in the back. <laughs> right. There's, a, there's like, it's, he's got one of them Breaking Bad barrels right there with the body in it, disintegrated. Muriatic acid. He's got a and bunch it, of methylamine. And there's, there's a, there's a tarantula in a little jar somewhere in the truck. <laughs> yeah, he, he actually killed the kid who saw him stealing the cans of dog food. Oh, this troll knows how to sword fight now, Josh. Oh, uh, of course he does. That you didn't know trolls are like masters at sword play. Hey, did you know that that troll, that scene right there where he took that bump off the back of the truck, that's actually Terry Funk. Yeah, <laughs> he'll do anything. Your mother's a whore. Oh, and now it's Hulk Hogan. He's hulking up. He's Supermaning. Okay, what about when the car was? Never mind. Too easy. Wow. Yeah, he, he kind of went, he picked the road where, the, where they just laid down new uh, asphalt. I love that line for some reason. I had to hear it. <laughs> How about a bumper sandwich, Booker Lip? That, that troll's like, I could jump out of the way or just stand here. Jump out of the way or just stand here. Jump out of the way or just stand. It's too late! Yeah, that troll took it straight to the face, man. Yeah, it was a money shot and a half. <laughs> You're gonna tell me when, right, Ernest? You're gonna tell me, bam, all at once. <laughs> Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! I cannot take it. You're gonna tell me when, right, Ernest? Right? Of course, Vern. <laughs> bam. This is, a, this is a family show. <laughs> oh hell! Okay, and he's got the same breath as some of the women that I found in my bed. Oh, for sure. He's like, wait, this is some quality meth for me. All of a sudden, this movie turned into Minute Work with Charlie Sheen and Emilio Estevez when they're on the back in the I guess barrels. The troll is eating Rimshot. Oh, Rimshot got away. Can it, Ernest? 
You can it, you nit. <laughs> he blends right in with her front yard. As a kid, I, I loved stuff like that. Sight gags. Yeah, rim shots. The best actors. He even had he even did a scared look earlier, the dog did. When the troll first appeared. <laughs> hey, she's not just a 150-year-old lady who has a garbage yard, a junkyard in her front yard. She's got giant, giant novelty tools lying around, too. Here we go. Uh, and you know that thing is one of a kind. There's no way they sell multiples of that in the store in uh, Briarville or wherever the hell we're at. And destroy itself with me, K. I knew an exchange student named me, K. Gonna give him a call. There is no such thing as MEAC, by the way. I looked it up. Well, okay, so the trolls are like 200 years old. What, were people drinking milk from cows 200 years ago? I don't know. You know, that's we're the only being on this earth that drink milk from another animal. Yeah, but after, and we're the only uh, like mammal on the planet that drinks milk after their childhood. Is there... Do cat, Wait, do dairy cows have to be pregnant to give milk? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. It's not so weird if they don't have to be pregnant to give it. Then it's not weird. Because then it's like, well, nobody it's not gonna nobody else gonna drink it. It's just, if I don't drink it, then nobody somebody Well, here's another question since we're going down this rabbit hole. Who the hell is the first guy who's like, the cow's drinking it, cow, baby cow's drinking it, I'm gonna put my mouth on that nipple and take a suck. <laughs> well, I, yeah, that rabbit hole that rabbit hole goes on forever. It's like so many weird things. Who the hell is the first first person that saw an egg come out of a chicken's ass and was like, I'm going to fry that up and eat that? Who left their cheese out for a week and said, hey, this is some good brie. <laughs> or, yeah, or who's the first person who, like, let yeast, like, just mold, absolutely mold, and be like, I'm going to drink that, and I'm getting drunk. <laughs> the <laughs> the Funch Bun. The Sanderson sisters show up. <laughs> I put a spell on you. We got to do second Hocus show of the night. Yeah, let's trick him into letting us watch that one later. Yeah, that would suck, Master Evil. Please do not make us watch Hocus Pocus. That would oh, really suck. Woman, run! Ernest is gonna decapitate you and use you to get rid of little kids. Oh, please get me that iPad. I'm sorry, Mom. But will you at least take me out to dinner? Why, honey? Because I would like to at least get a dinner if you're going to fuck me. <laughs> it's off South Park, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, she's well, I thought you were going with, I would like to get a dinner because you're dressed like a pizza. No, that woman's going to get her decapitated by Ernest and put in his little slingshot machine at his treehouse if she's not careful. Save the kids, screw the grown-ups. Oh my god, Count Chocula made an appearance. <laughs> you should have some cereal with your Miyak. Two concussions. Ha, ha, ha. That Ninja Turtle in the crowd forgot his weapons and his, uh, you know, armbands. Identi and his identifying color. <laughs> yeah, his headband and everything. I got Rolos. Lots of Rolos. They're caramely and chocolatey. Rolos are good, but they take too long to, like, actually consume them because they get stuck in your freaking teeth. Hey, it's the Halloween contest. Somebody's like, good costume, but who dressed up like Danny DeVito? Who are you supposed to be, Roseanne Barr? <laughs> that's, a, that's how young Tom Arnold met young Roseanne Barr. This is actually them meeting. I was going to call him someone a little more famous and a little more prominent in the news earlier, but I don't want to go there. You know who I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Been under the weather lately? The POTUS. No, I wouldn't go there yet. No. It's a, it's a <laughs> oh, tremendous... I've, got another, I've got a tag team match ready to go. It's a tremendous film. Tr tremendous meek. People tell me it's the best artist movie ever. <laughs> it's, it's incredible. They said... More people have seen this movie than any other Ernest movie ever. You got to give it to Ernest, though. He does have big old brass balls. Like, he's not afraid. Oh. 
I brought me K hard time and then had to fly him in to China, but you're screwed. Come on in, me K. I told you milk does a body good, god damn it. <laughs> I love this scene, yeah. I'm sorry. He finds out that he actually does have a MEAC allergy and it kills him. He's like, I'll, He's like, I'll be damned! <laughs> <laughs> He's the only troll, though. So Ernest thinks he, he got him, but he's the one troll that has an allergy. It's a MEAC. That, that uh, yogurt machine right there, we used, I used to work at Sizzler in high school, and I used to have my friends come in, and we would make gigantic cones, and we would eat like one full one in the restaurant and get another one to go take one bite and just throw it in the parking lot because <laughs> they were did not look like ice cream in his hands by the way but yeah dude i like that ice cream so don't put it down when i go to western sizzler I, western sizzling i love to get that and put sprinkles on it when i'm done so stop it <laughs> we would just take a bite and just toss it in the, in the road then i go home and i make a nice bar s bologna sandwich <laughs> bar Hey, Bar S, did Master Evil send you that Bar S bologna, or did you have to get that yourself? No, he sent me Rodeo brand. Oh, my God. Did he send you Hungry Man TV dinners, or did he send you Swanson? Swanson. That's um, a bitch. Wait, why are you giving me a wooden hedgehog for? They don't even look like rim shot. <laughs> yeah, right. they... Did he, they, did he cut his head off first? They phoned it in on the prop department for rim shot here. The sculptor that was doing it didn't have time to do the head, so he just put like a little tail on both ends. Like cat dog, it's butt butt. Ernest just said something that I wasn't paying attention, and by God, we're going to do something. Oh, the one cop's back. They're screwed now. Yeah, that guy wasn't wearing a racist costume. The mayor is like, all right, well, you're, you're now the garbage man, too. So you're the only cop and you're the garbage man. We're just going to put some lights and a siren on top of the garbage truck. I'm sorry, Ernest is a pervert, and he Sheriff, had my kid in the back of the garbage can. Sheriff, you have not done a good job at all. You need to park your car. <laughs> park it. We don't say you're fired in this town. We just say park it. <laughs> park the goddamn truck in the car. No, it's me. I saw it work. Listen, son, we've talked about this. Most adult male and females are allergic to milk. That's where you're getting it confused. How does a kid put mother's care with milk? Like, I can see, like, being, like, an adult and being, like, thinking breast feeding, you know, but like at his age, that wouldn't be the first, he wouldn't put that together. A mother's no. care, breastfeeding, milk, I got it figured out. I'm the future world's best detective, Bruce Wayne. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be mother's care. In my head at that age, I'd be thinking, oh, we need the, we need to buy the troll some G.I. Joes and McDonald's. Right? right? That's what I thought mother's care was. It's a bedtime story. And five dollars if I'll shut up. Yeah, five. I can rent five movies for five days for five dollars and get a bag of popcorn. Go to the troll and, say, and tell him the Billy Goat's gruff, you know, and then <laughs> hand him a five dollar bill. That ought to do the trick. <laughs> oh, five dollars when I was like 11 years old, Josh? I was king for the week, man. Oh, yeah, that's a new Mattel figure. Follow me. We're going to go make some chocolate milk and earnest bucket. Everybody's out of town. We're going to go rob the grocery store. All right, get ready. Here comes the uh, killer clown from Alien Space Trolls. <clears throat> the Trollos. The way his ear is jerking like that, that is making me really uncomfortable. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like fidgeting. Stop it. I could make a really inappropriate comment right now. No. It's got testicles growing from the tree, so you can't get very more inappropriate than I that. I can't believe that they designed cocks to be on the side of this troll's head. And testicles on the tree. Look at them. That's what they want. It's like giant testicles out of the stack. Super phallic. I tried that before. It doesn't make you go any faster. Where you just punch it? Like lift your leg up by your ear and just jam it down. 
God, this troll's been hit like multiple times by by Ernest in his track. Surprise! Ernest didn't run into a different part of the tree. He's like so bad at seeing the troll when it's right in front of him. Well, Ernest actually thought that that troll was uh, his casting agent. He's like, I'm not doing another Ernest movie. <laughs> Get me something else for the love of God. <laughs> I don't care if it's another payday. Where'd he go? Oh, he better not be in the high ground. Don't touch him, Ernest. Don't touch him. God, they're just oozing. Very sensitive. <laughs> can't let these hit the ground. Well, these can't hit the ground. Yeah, these ones. And don't feed them after midnight. When does that stop? Like, can you start feeding them at 6 in the morning or 7 in the I, morning? What about Central Time and Eastern Time? I know. I have no idea. And it's also like, don't wear white, like, before or after Labor Day. Because at any point, it is before or after Labor Day. You have to feed the gremlins between 12 and 12.01 a.m. That's it. Like, in that 59 seconds is the only time. 59.59 59 is the only amount of time you can feed them. It's the same thing for the military. Like, when you show up and you can have breakfast, but you only get to eat two minutes. <laughs> oh, here we go. Hey, why isn't the mama troll eating it? Eating the... Oh, see, that's one of the clowns. That one's not. Hold on. Oh, where'd all my pizzas go? Damn it! Yeah, where's 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 the five for five? Uh, or where's the five dollar fill up box where we need it? Here comes Mario and Luigi again. Uh, get off of my head! A bippity boppity. <laughs> you do a better one. Let's. Oh, there is one of the clowns right there. Right there. You don't recognize the design? Yeah, you can, They tweaked it obviously a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, they the changed film. the color and stuff and tweak. Yeah. It's just like what what Mattel and Hasbro do when they release new figures. They just do different paints, <laughs> paint you know, on the on the mold. Kids, get out of there! That guy will pull a double barrel shotgun on you and play a fucked up game of charades. Get the fuck out! That kid fucked up. He could have had a Super Soaker fifty, but instead he picked the pink, just ridiculous looking one. Yeah, because that's what grocery stores sold back then was Super, super Soaker fifty. I had a Super Soaker two hundred, which had a backpack. But I left it outside for too long, so my mom put it in the burning barrel oh. to, like, teach me a lesson. That one came fully dressed with an apron. Uh-oh. There's Fonzie. That's what, <laughs> that's what the trolls at the local bar at 1 o'clock look like when their friends show up. Ah, the squad's here. Squad goes. <laughs> Devour the human. And he carries a baseball bat back there in case the chloroform doesn't work. He's got some nice. He's got a nice. He's always got to have a plan B. Oh God, the whole force is there. This is it. Oh, shit's really going down when the entire police force for the town shows up. You get to make that joke in two movies in a row. I love it. Yeah. Is he hey, going to promote himself to captain? <laughs> Hey, I was jogging uh, yesterday, and there's a gate that actually lifted itself up at a car wash across the street from my, really? my path. Yes. You didn't have to hire a guy I, to sit there and lift it? I wanted to take a photo so bad to show you, but I like was running by it. It'd be funny if that one horrible mask from Goblin's, or Troll 2 pops up, you know, the one that you can obviously see their eyes and stuff behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if you can spot the killer clown prosthetic things. Oh, you're down there, Ernest. Okay, one troll has a dick on his ear, and that one's got testicles hanging. You see that, right? These, uh, yes, I do. I, I can't miss it. These, uh, they were slipping some stuff under the radar there. That troll's nicknamed his ear Mr. Dick. <laughs> did that troll grab her breasts? Like, it yes, looked he like did. he grabbed her by the chest. Yeah, that's what he did. That he they didn't have time for their PR meeting before they started. The Even HR the HR troll hasn't been manifested yet. Even Satan himself is terrified of these trolls. Play the love songs, people. I used that to work guy, for a guy like see, that. I, I'm gonna like give all these the trolls that leave my house his phone number. 
he 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 likes them. Some of these. Yeah, you know what that troll's gonna do. Some of these trolls look like the witches in the movie The Witches. Yeah, those are definitely aliens. Uh, you got it right, Bucko. Now, that actor used to be on Saturday Night Live back in the 70s. His career never went nowhere. One of the killer bees. Ooh, bullying. Right up my alley, Josh. Oh. Dad joke. Right up my alley. Right, right up your alley. See if he can uh, get a 7-10 split. That would kill that guy if that ball that or give him the worst concussion ever. Three concussions. Ha! Ah, ah, ha! Ah. Ha! That guy's uh, pinhead. <laughs> You're welcome. That teacher was fired for beating the shit out of her students, by the way. Yeah, that's why Ernest turned out the way he did. Student Fight Club. I'm not stopping for a crazy lady on the side of the road saying my name. No, no. What did you say? Bring you the lead of of what? He she he said something about wanting one more drink before closing time or before last call. Bring me the lead of Ernest's pet squirrel. And it plays all the love, the troll love songs, half off. <clears throat> Girl, go back to sleep. You didn't have to be in this movie. I wonder if she got her uh, SAG card for that scene. It's actually Helen Hunt. <laughs> Helen Hunt. Uh, this is right, right before Mad About You. Pre-Twister. These trolls, you know, aren't very uh, murdery. This cop is terrible. They really, if they're going to have one cop, they need to have like a really, they need like a lone wolf McQuaid type of situation. Not the, not lone wolf shithead. Hell, even Marshall Dillon would do a better job. And he's Anybody. like an old West sheriff. Fucking bring Barney Fife in. He would be better than this guy. He, this guy shows up and immediately gets handcuffed to his own squad car. He's this is totally how gunpowder works, by the way. That's what all you got to do, kids, is swallow some bullets and have somebody hit you in the back of the head with a mallet. Extreme accuracy, too. He's, like, copying them up with accuracy. He's got him right in his sights, man. Hey, one of the Cobra Kai members is there. Yeah, the good guys. They're the <laughs> good guys. In the skeleton outfit. The, man, the karate kid was an asshole. La Russo. Really works, Dad. I I got some acid in here. The dad's like, silly me. I've been using gunpowder and lead for all these years. Could have been using milk. I could have been using fucking vitamin D. I would have I would have thought me act, but hey, milk. Well, that'll work too. Did uh, you get that gun at the grocery store? You know, the grocery store that sells. Tons of water guns next to their checks. Every grocery store I've ever been to since I was four sells the big, different colored, you know, bouncing balls and the shittiest knockoff toys of all time. The dollar toys. Yeah, they don't sell anything good. Ernest, hold on. I'm coming up there because I can totally help you. Boy, they're really savoring this kill. He could have been dead like a scene ago. He's like, I, he's like, they're like, he's like, I said I wanted some head, not take my head. Those trolls actually work for every Bond villain ever, uh, create, you know, ever since the beginning of time. Ernest. It's acid, Ernest. There was another one. See that one? That was one of the clowns. <laughs> I said I'd give you some head, not my actual head. Uh, Warl! Ghost of marshmallows from Booberry and Count Chocula, give me your power! An invisible man sleeping in your bed. Who you gonna call? 
the only me garbage yak. man in town. <laughs> me yak busters. Do, 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 do. She's putting the dolls in there, and that troll's like taking them and breaking them in half while he's in there. Yeah, no shit. What are you doing? Why are you giving those to the troll? Those it's the wrong not... tree. You, you, you're those... old age. You've got dementia. It's the wrong tree. Those humans are no longer mint in box. Oh, hey, I'm scared now. <laughs> They're, that guy is getting nailed to the wall. Ernest, thank you so much for taking the time to change costumes in the midst of a massacre. Yeah, uh, while people are being murdered, literally murdered, and turned into wooden uh, objects, you have time to switch into fucking nine different outfits. And that's, that's when it's time for monologue out. time. <laughs> and the kid is humoring him. He actually enjoys it, you can tell. He's like, clever girl. Sorry, he looks like Muldoon from Jurassic Park there. He also looks like the guy who's the hunter in Jumanji. <laughs> With the gigantic gun. God, if Robin Williams and him could have teamed up in something, that would have been cool. That was a Viking troll, by the way. They could have... Ding -a -ding -a Seriously. Can you imagine Robin Williams and Jim Varney in a buddy comedy movie? Oh They're my God. trying it, to outdo each other. Be amazing. Don't worry, his asshole will develop the film. It's Did a one hour troll. Go hey, ahead. Josh, they're like, he's eating the film, and it's like, go ahead, let him. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't stop. Keep going. Don't Give him show seconds. this movie. That troll's like, I'm just going to go by here. Nobody, <laughs> you didn't see me. <laughs> yeah, there's no evidence of this film. That's the only thing yogurt's good for. Is there anything worse than, uh, like, plain flavored yogurt? Dude, I don't like any yogurt. Except for the Trix yogurt. I like that stuff. I like the fruit flavored stuff. I've never had that. I always Dude. buy yogurt intending to eat, like, healthier, you know? I'm like, I'm going to eat this yogurt. And then it just sets in the back of my fridge and expires. Would this actually work? It'd be funny, that kid gets a smile on his face, throws the powdered milk in, doesn't work, and just gets his head ripped off. The, the, the troll is just, like, mildly, you know, disturbed and just kills the kid. <laughs> kind of like how you're only mildly inconvenienced. <laughs> I know, it's funny. <laughs> They're going to take a dump on people. That's what's happening. Turn your eyes, avert your eyes. Ernest, uh, this is where M. Night Shyamalan got the idea for uh, Split. <laughs> like, wait a second. Now, with more marshmallows. And oh, more more penises. penises. More penises. <laughs> Unless someone dances with me and kisses me on my cheek. But what are the odds of that happening? <laughs> Man, yeah, those horns. Your fingers a little more to come off a little more menacing. <laughs> those horns on top of his head are old growth. Yeah, this guy is horny. <laughs> Boom! That necklace goes into the neck brace. <laughs> I never noticed that. <laughs> the necklace don't even go around his neck. It's like going into the neck brace. Ernest it's a neck bracelet. Ernest is flying the very first drone. Neck braceless. Yeah, yep, early early drone technology. Hey, it's the it's the the caveman from Encino Man right there. Just thought no, out up the cup. Actually, on. Josh, I'm gonna correct you. That was actually the pastor from Troll Two. <laughs> hey, and you're a pretty cool kid. You know who John Wayne is. Ernest, you did it! You brought terror and misery and pain upon the town. But hey, you brought some milk and a crazy old lady and some kids with attitude and saved the day. And Ernest, by the way, thank you for saving the town. You're still fired, of course, because you it. were incredibly reckless with my son. Park that tree. <laughs> the old lady Hackmore like, it's not over yet. I'm going to eat your children now. 
I'm going to go defeat Batman. You're fired, Ernest. He's standing on top of the Ghoulies ritual uh, <laughs> basement. Man, you're lucky he didn't do it. That thing is getting out on it. What are you doing? He's not dead. He's moving. Your acting is too wooden to be in this movie. Josh, that cop is the most worthless, most gutless, biggest piece of trash cop ever. His son, his own son, is up there fighting the the unstoppable troll, and he's like, "Go get him, son! Run, son! Give him hell, kid!" I'm too strong for milk now. <laughs> Only yeah, great, almond milk can stop me now. Great work, Dad. Or me, Ak. But good luck finding that. It's out of season. Great work, Dad. I oh, like he's... that judge costume. <laughs> it's like made out of toilet paper and toilet paper rolls. <laughs> they look, they don't even look scared. They just look kind of mildly bummed. They're like, okay, he's going to kill Ernest. We're good. Like they're in a t-ball game and their kid's team lost. Like, hey, that's kind of suck. If he had broke that doll in half and then put the doll in the tree when he died, would that kid be like in two pieces when he came back to life? Well, him standing on that kid is probably not good. Okay, those ears are just too much. And why is his hands all sticky like that? Never mind. Yeah, it's called COVID. Get away from me. Oh, wow. This is where COVID came from, from this show. Yeah. Ernest is responsible for COVID. Of course he is. Shut up and let me kill you. <laughs> There's like fire going and the people like scoot up a little bit and then it goes higher and scared. Like they're really, like anybody would really try to cross the fire. Real man in a school sized thing of milk. This is, uh, this is the girl who you accidentally slept with from the night before at the bar, this is when you bump into him again the next night at the bar. And she keep, wants an explanation why you never called her. Like, I've been calling you all day and you haven't been <laughs> calling me back or answering. <laughs> she why is she was, telling the mayor this? Tell Ernest. Yell to Ernest. The milk won't work. It's the heart of a child. Don't tell the asshole mayor. He'll let Ernest die. He told him to park it. <laughs> you weren't ghosting me last night when you were inside of me, Ernest. <laughs> Ernest, when you unloaded your double barrel shotgun of Miyak inside of me, Ernest, you weren't ignoring Stop me it. then. It's a family show. I'm sure somebody that watches has a family. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Ernest. The troll's like, oh god, my only weakness. A redneck smiling and hugging me. Yeah. My only, my only weakness, homogenized milk. Oh, God. Oh, God. As long as he doesn't dance with me, I'll be all right. No! It's this the is opening actually, credit music, but slower and stuff. This is actually better than Carol Baskin on Dancing with the Stars. At least it wasn't a bologna sandwich that killed him. Troll 2. Oh, it's so sweet. I'm grooving over here. Good thing you didn't kiss him on the ear on the first date, Ernest. Yeah, they, so well, the, the troll was pissed off at Ernest also because when they were making love last night, he never actually kissed her. Uh, uh, he, they just uh, went through the motions. Those marshmallows are pissed. Well, that troll's never going to get ahead in life. <laughs> that troll won't be ahead of its class. Yay, Ernest, you destroyed the troll that you brought back. You're a real hero for cleaning up your own mess, asshole. The FBI, like all the major, you know, uh, branches of the military never showed up. Why were the, the, they, the parents didn't know the kids were going to come back yet, and they're all crowding around him, thanking him, even though their children are still dead. They didn't know they were going to come back. That they was were still a, wooden puppet or wooden yeah, balls. That was they a had, shit they didn't even job care in editing. About their kids that, 
Ernest, you're a hero. Our kids are dolls, but by God, you <laughs> kissed and danced with that troll. <laughs> Ernest, you did such a great job. You killed the troll, kissed it, made out with it, got it cab fare. Uh, and also, our kids are, you know, still alive technically, and we don't have to pay for their food or education later on. Thank you, Ernest. Just have to dust them every now and then. He <laughs> dust them. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you did. You were the worst fucking cop ever. You didn't even try to help your son when he was battling the demon troll by himself. Jesus Christ. Here we go. These kids, man. What would they think seeing all those costumes? How would you know that's your sister? Come on now. They felt it. Sister Francis, you haven't aged a bit. <laughs> you look great. Oh, it's so nice to be re reunited with my brother, my sister, and these two other kids. <laughs> um, I, I'll, I'll take care of you for the two months I have left before I die <laughs> of old age. <laughs> I'll try to teach you as much about the last 150 years, you know, before I die from old age in two minutes. Oh, poor Ernest. I cried when I was a little kid. I know there's not an Oscar waiting on me in there. There's a golden raspberry in that tree for you, Ernest. <gasps> Wait Rim a second. Shot! I call bullshit. Bullshit. She had to put the dolls in the tree to bring them back to life. Rimshot was in the truck. He's a super dog. He's a badass dog. He he He's the exception to the role. Rimshot, yay! He's like, I was never a wooden dog. You're just yeah. a bad pet owner and wasn't paying attention to me. And we need to go to the grocery store because you shot all my food at those troll or at those kids. Aren't the kids like, you're still watching the movie? Just broke the shit out of the fourth wall there. <laughs> I do like the music. Oh, yeah. Master Evil, this movie really, really sucks. Suck. Watch me groove. Yeah, he he uh he he really tortured us with this one. I'm 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 gonna complain. Yeah, uh, he almost broke me tonight. That's they got Mark bitch. Raglan to be the art director. No wonder this movie looked cool. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Richard E. Shermer. Richard P. D. Waldrop. Richard E. Romer. Michael Costanza. Peep and Starry. Tommy Mookie are us. Prudence Moriarty. Wow. Pebble Daniel. Now we know what happened after she moved out of, uh, you know, uh, Fred and Fred and Barney's neighborhood. All right. So yeah, that was uh, <laughs> Ernest Scared Stupid. There's a mid-credit scene coming up with Samuel Jackson, but we're gonna skip <laughs> yeah. that. Ernest. I'm a, would you like to join Shield? Do you have any Miak? We got it. We're gonna send you somewhere where no man's gone before. And Ernest is like, as long as it's not jail camp, uh, as long as I don't have to ride again, play basketball, go to school, go to the war, go to Africa, then I'm your man. We're gonna say <laughs> we're gonna send one of your films to where it's never been before, Ernest. Where's that, Mister Mister Fury? Back to black. You're gonna make money off of the, off your next film. <laughs> all right so uh are we gonna try to act like we were a little uh, upset about the movie or what because you yeah. know master evil's gonna be calling it and there it is oh hello. wait wait hello uh hello master evil how amusing you two seem like you actually slightly enjoyed this movie perhaps I underestimated you, or perhaps I haven't given you a worthy movie that will break your spirit yet. Or perhaps having this cold is making me less evil. Come, come on, buddy. Come on. You're plenty evil, Master Evil. I mean, it's your name, yeah. first of all. Yeah. And, uh, listen, no, it's fine. Remember what we yeah. talked about at the pay-per-view? <laughs> the PLC pay-per-view? I said, listen. You don't want to be the guy with the shoulders on the mat because you put yourself there. You got to get up and kick out at two and a half, okay? You're plenty evil. Uh, what I in the in actual flying 
fuck Jesus Christ on a cracker? Are you giving Master Evil a pep talk, Alex? Yeah, of course. Listen, of course I am. Uh, you don't feel a little bit bad for him, Josh? I mean, the guy's a fucking human being here. Let me think. I have a little No, not a bit. <laughs> no, he's not a human. Alex, okay, okay. Forget the McRib. Forget all that stuff, okay? Forget that I sleep with a rodeo clown looking at me in a barrel. Forget I sleep on an old ratty mattress, okay? Forget all that. Last week, I pleaded with him to send me something to watch, something to binge watch, a good show, because he gives you so many damn things and hangs and all that and uh, you know, Pilates or whatever y'all do, spin class. Anyways, anyways, you get all those privileges. So he sent me an entire DVD set of the entire series of Breaking Bad, okay? With all the bonus features, Ultra 4K, all that. Set me up with the TV, everything I needed. Big screen sounds, TV. Sounds pretty good, actually. I know, it sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, I pop in the DVD, and every DVD is a split screen of Gumby and the Garbage Pail Kids movies from the 80s. And you know how terrified I am of Gumby and the Garbage Pail movies from the fucking 80s. Hey, hey listen. Hey, the, the, the Gumby thing just broke me. I'm sorry it got me. <laughs> Silence! <laughs> I will step up my game next time with a Halloween-themed slasher with a very suggestive name that no one apparently thought was a problem. Oh, God. A movie that shares its namesake with the nickname given to a certain king of pop. What? For the love of God, what what in the hell is it? I don't, honestly, I don't even want to know this time. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Prepare yourselves for Jacko. <laughs> Honey, that cough sounds bad. Come here so I can check your temperature. But Ma, can you check my temperature under my tongue this time? No, dear. That's not accurate enough. We will have to do it the other way, sweetie. The other way? See you next time, prisoners. Ma! I'm fine, really. I'm not sick, I promise. The other way? No clue. What? I, I don't want to see it. Oh, thank God. In the words of Ernest, ew, ew. I mean... Jesus, the other way. Listen, I have no fucking idea what goes on at that house when I leave. I show up for the food, the pay-per-view, he gives me enough money for a cab or Uber, what? I tip the driver, I go home. No, He doesn't clue. even make you walk home or, like, make you run alongside the car? You just, he just sends okay. you home? Does he, does he get you a set of diamond earrings the next morning? He doesn't give me diamond earrings. No, he got me black opal earrings, but I don't even what? wear earrings. Yeah. You wear earrings now? No, I, I did when I was in college because I thought I was a badass, but I didn't clean them properly and they got infected all to hell. But Master Evil was a lot nicer back then. He actually paid for me to get them cleaned up and stuff. That's you a whole different... You knew Master Evil back in college? A little bit. He, he was a different person back then. He dated a girl and things went south. Was he I, senior evil? What was he? <laughs> Postgraduate evil. <laughs> he, had, he was still working on his doctorate. Did he have his Ph.D. in Mastering Evil? I mean, what the fuck? Hey. Wait, so I've been kidnapped because I know you? Yeah, I, don't put that shit on me. Just you, be, listen. If you should be mad at anybody, it's the girl who broke his heart. That's, that's, what le that's how we skewed into this tangent, Josh. This who broke his heart? Some little filly. I, have, I don't remember her name. I, you know, I bet she was a literal filly. That's I don't, what I'm thinking. I, I have no okay. idea. Speaking of little fillies, what the hell is this Jacko thing? I, listen, I just thought it was another Michael Jackson biopic on Tubi. I have it no idea. It sounds like a like a softcore porno horror movie or something. You know, <laughs> Jacko, do it yourself. <laughs> the guy, the guy who who uh, who made Friday the Thirteenth, uh, the fifth one, the New Beginning. He used to make Skinamax movies, so he probably made this movie, Jacko. Yeah, that's definitely a Skinamax movie. Jack, yeah. oh, wow. It just sounds like they, you know, like they ran out of room, so they just put, oh. Uh, it's a Red Shoe Diaries pre-equal. Good God. Yeah. Wow. I wonder, I wonder if the guy from Revenge of the Nerds is in that episode. Um, 
He was in was an episode the, of that show, by the way. Parody? Um, huh? The guy the main, who was... The main nerd. The, main the guy nerd. who was the dad on Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. He was Holy in an episode. Shit. <laughs> okay, Holy so... Shit. Uh, our plan worked, you know. Uh, I really I thought he had us. I thought he had us there for a second. But. I didn't see that coming from a mile away. Uh, but <laughs> can't get one I'm past me. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe it. It totally worked. It, it total reverse psychology. He outsmarted himself. Maybe we should try the hocus pocus thing later down the line. Maybe next Halloween or something. I and uh, the Jacko hey. man. I don't know what to think. There's still, there's still like you know three three weeks left in October. We maybe we sneak in a bonus episode, try to try to really fool him. Yeah, that'd be I'd be down for it. At least I get to watch movies and don't have to sit here and watch Gumby and Garbage Pail Kids with the rodeo clown watching me while I'm eating a McRib. Garbage uh, Pail Kids. Garbage Pail Kids uh, was actually an independent movie. It was probably the lowest grossing independent film ever. That movie is a pile. Oh, of let me write shit. that down. I've got I've got a list of shit I don't give a fuck about. I need to add that on there. Garbage Pail Kids. Uh-huh. That movie is hot garbage Pail Kids. Yeah, that so, is a terrible movie. We made it through this horrible movie. Uh, hope you all enjoyed listening to us rant and rave on Ernest Scared Stupid. And uh, we'll be back with Jacko, apparently. Um, Alex, I'd like to say it's a pleasure. That's I'm it. Um, that's it. I'd like to say it. I just can't. Um... But hey, we got that cool new opening. At least he flipped the bill for that, so that's pretty cool. Thanks, um, Master Evil. Yeah, apparently he's working with Ryan Thomas Johnson from Carnosaur 2 because he's the one that composed the music. So, Excellent. Yeah, and now I know why he wouldn't call in a rescue team for us, but, you know, whatever. Because he's uh, working with the guy who actually captured us. Okay. All right. It adds up. I'm not sure like Holmes, but I can, uh, I can read between the lines there. Ryan? So, uh, we'll set it, see you next Sunday, I guess, with, uh, with Jacko, um, go have fun in your fully stocked apartment and I'll go hang out with my rodeo clown and watch really bad, really, really scary TV that I'm forced to watch. Um, hey, I'll see you. Try, hey, try to pull up that Red Shoe Diaries with the, with the Revenge of the Nerds, uh, Caridian guy. That, that'd be good. <sighs> I wish I had internet to do that, but uh, all I got's the Game Boy with dial up and AOL, so you know that. <laughs> and not even Game Boy Advanced. You just have the Game Boy with with the magnifying glass on the top. Yep. All right. I'll uh, see you have, next week. Yeah, have a shitty week, friend. Have a good. Hey, you have a good week, and and you get more flies with honey, Josh. Just remember yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, did yeah. you know the show's over? Flash track. What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. When Master Evil comes to play, and Mama says that it's okay.